What's up guys, it's Alex from Everyday Biking, and today my dad will be taking us through a six step process to service an SR Suntour fork. In this video, we're servicing the Suntour Epicon fork, however, the same steps can apply to many other air forks from Suntour. Before starting, we went ahead and bought a rebuild kit from Suntour's website, however, it's not required to complete the service. Step 1. Prep your fork for servicing. Take note of your current pressure and rebound settings, then depressurize your fork. Step 2. Remove the lower legs. Pull off the rebound knob and do note, it may be hard to remove. Carefully remove the o-ring. Using a 10mm socket, loosen the lower leg nut but don't fully remove it at this point. Make sure the nut still covers the adjusting shaft to protect it later. Using a 5mm allen wrench, loosen the bolt on the other leg. Now use a soft mallet to release the lower legs. Remove the lower legs. Step 3. Remove the lower spring assembly. Use a large adjustable wrench to unscrew the air spring bottom cap. Remove the o-ring and clean off the excess grease. Remove the lower spring assembly. Clean off all the old grease. The Suntour Forks allows you to change the travel between 80mm and 120mm. At this point, you can change the travel if you want to. You will need to drive out the pin retaining the negative spring stop and move it up or down one position. It can be difficult to remove and it's best to use a pin punch. Here we are increasing travel from 100mm to 120mm. Don't go any higher than 120 because the fork isn't stiff enough to handle that. Step 4. Clean the upper legs. Now remove the air spring top cap with a 27mm chamferless socket. The yellow foam volume spacer can be trimmed or removed if you want to change your fork's progression. Push out the air piston which you will be replacing if you have a new one, otherwise you will just be cleaning it. Clean out the inside of the air spring with alcohol and make sure to use a non-metallic rod so you don't scratch the inside. Thoroughly clean the outside of the fork. Step 5. Replace the seals. Carefully remove the old seals with a wrench making sure not to scratch the insides of the fork. Using alcohol, clean out the inside of the lower legs. Again, make sure to use a non-metallic rod. Pre-soak your fork wipers in 15 weight fork oil. Using the grease included in the kit, or some slicoleum or equivalent, put a bit on the outside of the new seals before installing them. Using a seal driver, install the new seals until they're flush. Now install your pre-soaked wipers into the fork below the seals. Step 6. Put the fork back together. Put some fork grease on the new piston and seal. Now install it in the fork. Apply fork grease to the negative spring assembly, making sure to grease the spring as well as the shaft. Reinsert the negative spring assembly into the fork. Grease the bottom cap threads and screw it back in. Grease the shafts on both sides. Reinstall the new o-ring. Using your wrench, tighten the bottom cap making sure not to over tighten it. Using the oil included in the kit, add 10 milliliters of 80 weight oil to the chamber of the air spring. Reinstall the top cap and foam spacer. Tighten to 10 newton meters torque. Pump up the shock to 120 to fully extend it. Put some grease on the fork seals. Slide the lower leg assembly back on and be careful not to damage the seals. Reinstall the nut and new allen bolt from the kit. Tighten the allen bolt to 10 newton meters and then the nut to 6 newton meters. Reinstall the o-ring and adjust your knob. Give it a final wipe and reset your shock pressure and rebound settings back to the way you had it originally. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let us know in the comment section down below what service video you want next. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow us on Instagram at Everyday Biking. Join our Discord using the link in the description and we will see you guys next week. See ya!